Okay, today we're going to show you how to assemble the Aegean lid. A few things that are included in the kit would be some quarter inch by quarter inch plastic edging. In addition to that, you're going to have half inch double sided white tape. Things not included in the kit, but you're going to need is inch and a half masking tape. It can be the blue painter's tape or any regular masking tape. Some of the tools you're going to be needing are tin snips, a cordless drill with a 3 8 inch bit, as well as a tape measure. The next thing we need to make sure it gets done is applying the adhesive to the inner lid and the outer jacket of the Aegean. Now the way we do that is with a 3 8 inch nap roller, slightly dampened with water, fully wrung out, and then apply the adhesive on a generous coat. Now before we go any further, it's time for it to cure. We need to let this set for at least a few hours. And the maximum that we'd like for you to let it set is overnight or 24 hours because we don't want any dust settling down on that glue and creating a barrier. Okay, so we want to make sure that we, we apply the, the, the glue and then cast the part as soon as possible. The next step in the process is to apply the inch and a half masking tape. Now we need to do this around the entire outer lid. Now, as we apply the tape, we want to make sure that we leave about a half of an inch sticking up. The next step in the process is to apply the double-sided half-inch tape to the inner lid around the entire rim of the piece. In your kits of Aegean, you'll find quarter by quarter inch plastic edging. At this, pro at this point in the process, we're going to need two pieces 18 inch in length, two pieces in 33 inch in length, and then two full sticks down the sides. The next step in the process is to creating a damming effect for the concrete on the inner liner. With the quarter inch plastic edging, we're going to go about an eighth of an inch below the outer edge of the top of the lining. This needs to be done around the in entire inner lid of the outer jacket. This prevents concrete from seeping through the seams. One of the other valuable tips you may want to do is place concrete in here the day prior to assembling this unit. This allows time for that concrete to set up and us to do all the manufacturing processes that we need to do but what it does is gives a full body of concrete in the dental molding so that the concrete rises above the outer ledge. The next step in the process is to drill four 3 8 inch holes and the predetermined holes in the lid adapter. Next, we need to insert the 3 8 inch metal bolt through the outer metal mold through the outer jacket of the Aegean lid. We need to apply the 3 8 inch metal anchor with the hole drilled through. Being sure to align the hole once tightened horizontally with the lid 
so that the rebar can then be placed through the hole. This next process has to be completed on both sides of the long sides of the Aegean lid. What I'm going to do next is screw the 3 8 inch bolt through the mold into the anchor on the back side. As you can see, the rebar is a continuous run from both anchors. The next step in the process is to apply the inner lid to the outer jacket while in the mold. Being sure to evenly space from end to end and side to side, you're ready for the next step. The next step would be to fold the tape down over the inner lining, pulling it tightly as to create the damming effect once again and a stopgap measure for any concrete that may seep out during pouring. The next step in the process is to take this completed assembly, rotate it, place it on the infrastructure of the lid for either the standard or the deluxe mold.